Where were you born? I was born in Hope, Arkansas. Who would you want to play you in a movie? Probably my look-alike, Brad Pitt. Ha ha ha. What was your first job? <laughs> Uh, well, my first job officially was working at the radio station at Hope KXAR, but I had a lot of jobs before then. Before I could go and get a real, you know, paycheck at age 14, I caught chickens, which is horrible. And let me tell you now, if you ever want to be motivated to do better in life, uh, be an eight-year-old kid and go catch chickens all night long and stuff those things into wooden crates on a hot August night in Arkansas and you'll spend the entire night thinking, what must I do to be able to get a job other than this? It was a wonderful motivator. So I hauled hay, I uh, collected pop bottles, I did a lot of stuff, but my first real job was working at the radio station. What is your biggest fear? Um, probably going out on stage with my pants unzipped. How's that? That's probably a big fear I got, yeah. Who makes you laugh the most? Um, I love clean comedians that make me laugh because they're really funny. Shonda Pierce makes me laugh. Um, Bone Hampton is another great uh, Christian comedian who makes me laugh. And there's so many of them. We've got a guy that works uh, with my show here on TBN named Rick Roberts. Uh, he is a spot-on Barney Fife. He makes me laugh. So there's a lot of people that do, but here's what I like in humor. I want people to make me laugh because they're funny, not because they're filthy and I laugh in self-defense. What is the one thing you need in your fridge at all times? Ooh, first thing I need in my fridge at all times, Coke Zero. What is your greatest accomplishment? Let me have some right now. My greatest accomplishment, uh, raising three kids who love God and who are decent human beings. I think that's the greatest accomplishment of all. Who is the most interesting person you have met recently? Wow. You know, one of the things, I do this television show on TBN, Trinity Broadcasting, and if you're not watching it, shame on you. Every Saturday, Sunday at 8 and 11 Eastern, 7 and 10 Central. So there's a plug for the show. But I get to meet some incredibly interesting people. But I met a guy a week ago when we did our veteran show. Now, this guy impressed me. His name is Woody uh, Johnson. He is a 95-year-old World War II veteran. And he earned the Congressional Medal of Honor. And I tell you, any time I'm around these guys who earned a Medal of Honor, I feel incredibly small and insignificant. And here was a guy with such energy and vigor at age 95, amazing. But the heroics of this individual, he gave me my freedom and he gave you yours. I don't ever want us to forget these folks. So my heroes in life are not well-known politicians and I enjoy meeting celebrities and musicians and actors and that's all fine. But the people that just blow me away and the ones that I feel totally humbled in the presence of are veterans who have served to give me freedom. What is your middle name? Dale, D-A-L-E. What is your biggest pet peeve? People who are slow at the TSA lines at the airport. Because I fly four or five days a week and I'm at airports all the stinking time and people who somehow get in the pre-check line and don't have a clue what that means, that is a pet peeve. Hate to go off on it, but I'm telling you, don't get in front of me at the airport if you're not prepared to put your junk on the conveyor belt. Get it done. What is the last book you read? Ooh. Um, I read a book by John Lennon's sister, and it is all about uh, life growing up in Liverpool, England. It's a great book. Uh, and it was called Imagine This, and it's a, a wonderful book, not one that you've probably ever heard about, but I got to meet her, her name is Julia, and I met her this summer when I was in Liverpool, spent a little time talking with her, and I found her book to be just extraordinary. I don't know if you guessed this or not, I'm kind of a Beatles fan. What is your favorite hobby? Ooh, wow, I love to play music, but I also love to hunt and fish. 
So those would be, I can't just single it out, it's gotta be all of them. What is your guilty pleasure? Guilty pleasure. Hmm, ice cream. Don't, I hope my wife's not watching. I haven't had ice cream, I don't know when. I have no idea when it's even, when I've had any. Do you have any hidden talents? I don't even have any observable talents, much less hidden talents. What are you talking about? What color is your toothbrush? <laughs> It's a white toothbrush. It's a Philips Sonic Care. I know which color it is because of that. Yeah. What is your secret snack? Secret snack. Um, it's and it's not a one I should enjoy a lot. Potato chips. How do you take your coffee? With sweet and low. What is the last movie you saw in the theater? In a theater? Oh wow! It's been a while since I've been to the theater. Uh, I love movies, but I just don't have time. I've tr I I was home four nights the entire month of October. Four nights. Um, so gosh, it's been a while. I'm trying to think. I saw, wow, well, what was it? I don't remember. That's how bad it is. I just don't remember seeing one at a theater. What is the last gift you gave? The last gift I gave. Um, I gave a gift to help hurricane victims who suffered through Hurricane Michael. I gave it through Samaritan's Purse, an organization I really love and so appreciate the not only the level of what they do for people, but the efficiency with which they do it. So that was the most recent one. What cause is your heart? Samaritan's Purse, uh, probably first and foremost is my own local church. I love my church. I love my pastor, and you know I believe that every believer should, as a minimum, tithe to his or her church. And then you give your offerings over and above that. And then you serve. Uh, my wife and I are both active. My wife serves on our safety team. And I drive a golf cart in our church parking lot and help direct traffic, which may surprise some people. Surprise people when they come to our church and they see me driving a golf cart or directing cars. But I think it's because my pastor thinks it's the only thing I'm competent to do. And he may be right. What is number one on your bucket list? Wow, I got a lot of things I still got to check off. Um, you know, I've done a lot of stuff on my bucket list. Let me think of something that is actually on that bucket list. Um, I, I want to go to more of the great World War II battlefields in Europe. Uh, because every I've been to Normandy and I've been to s some of the places where the Battle of the Bulge took place and those touch me and they inspire me and they humble me so I think I want to go to some more of those. And lastly, where do you want to go that you've never been? Hmm, I'd like to go um, to the northern part of Norway and see the northern lights because my wife really wants to do that. We've been to Norway. I've been there a couple of times and she's been there once with me, but it was uh, not at a time when the northern lights were visible. And so uh, that's something I'd like to do so that she will be happy and cross that off her bucket list.